Now here I have a bar magnet. I have an inductor loop and connected to the loop is a light bulb. Okay, I also can connect it to a meter which has a resistor or a light bulb but to illustrate basically what is called Faraday's law. Now Faraday's law says that you can produce a current in a closed loop if the magnetic flux, that is all this magnetic field strength that's going through this surface area in the loop changes with time. But you can see here this magnetic field is stationary and constant, but you can see that it is a vector along different positions in this uh, area where we have different directions of the magnetic field and as I move this through the loop you could see that the magnetic field changes and it induces basically a current inside this conductor and you could see the lamp light up okay as I pass through this loop now I can also take it, it's all relative, I can take this loop and pass it through the magnet and we produce the same effect of creating a current inside this conductor. So that's Faraday's law. Again, Faraday's law allows you to establish a connection between a changing magnetic field as it goes through the loop to produce a current to light up this bulb. Now if I put a meter here, you could see it has this effect of creating an induced voltage within this conducting wire. Now let me illustrate this also with a field meter. So I'll put the field meter here inside the loop and you can see that as I change the motion or position of the magnet I'm creating a changing magnetic field and a changing magnetic field produces a voltage difference to create a current within this conducting coil. Now let's change the attributes of the coil where I can change the number of loops and the loop area. First I'll go slow through the loop and you can see it's dimly lit by the light bulb. Now if I go fast it's a little bit brighter. As I increase the number of loops I go slow it's dim but a little bit stronger. Now if I go fast you can see it's really bright getting brighter and then with three loops I can get even a brighter light from the light bulb. Okay, now if I increase the area you can see that this also plays a role in terms of the brightness of the light bulb and when I decrease it to one, but if I go fast, you say we can get it brighter. So these attributes, this quick demo shows you that increasing the number of loops and increasing the area, you can induce a higher voltage in this lamp. Now if I go back to the meter, you can see as I go slowly, it doesn't deflect that much. Let me start off with the smaller area. And if I go through, you can see there's a deflection in the meter. And as I go faster, you see it's a bigger deflection. And if I increase the number of loops to three, you could see I have a bigger deflection in the meter, depending how fast I go through the loops. So hopefully this demonstrates that you can change the number of loops and the area to induce a higher voltage on this inductor coil.